Did you, did you get them all warmed up for me? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. Just a couple things about the whys. Um, obviously, Brett was a huge part of what we were able to accomplish last year. I think uh, that goes without saying, but, um, you know, we wanted him back. It wasn't me wanting him back. It was we wanting him back. Um, you know, I, I talked to all those guys all along that had been texting and talking, and I, I, I believe that uh, just, you know, as my conversations went with him, that probably the best thing was uh, for those guys to, to see him face-to-face. It's kind of like any kind of relationship. You can only get so much done over the phone. Texting doesn't really create the emotions, um, but they wanted to get face-to-face. And, and uh, you know, at, at the point in time, we thought that, that was the right thing to do. Uh, I talked to Ziggy, and, and Ziggy uh, was all in, which is uh, uh, great to have an owner like that that uh, says, we feel like this needs to happen. I said, it does. And, um, and so they were happy to jump on a plane and miss a day of practice and you know I had some reservations about um, letting them go you know they, they went after practice but I was afraid that when they came back that they might have come back by way of Bolivia or somewhere like that you know with uh, with Ziggy's jet but um, you know I, I think he said it all just in terms of how those guys felt and uh, you know they got to see where he's at and I always thought the toughest part was uh, getting him out of the driveway of that house and and, uh, and and getting out here with us. But as he told our team this morning, um, really nothing to prove, but uh, he's here for one reason and one reason only. And, um, you know, you can say, hey, we're pushing it all to the middle of the table. That's how we feel every year. I mean, any team in the National Football League does a start by saying we want to go to the Super Bowl and win it. Um, there's something wrong. Um, some people can make that statement and are probably whistling in the dark. Um, we feel like we got a good football team. Got to be able to back it up. And uh, that's why we play him. So um, I, I just feel like he simply came back for the members of this football team. Um, been able to talk to Sage and Tavares, and, and I'll, I'll tell you what I told you last year. You know, um, those guys are disappointed, surely. Tavares had a great training camp. Uh, Sage obviously played very well the other night, but um, they got a good relationship with, with this guy too, and, and um, we'll just see how it goes forward. That's, I mean, that's that's Brett though. I mean, if you've ever been in a press conference, Tom, he talks all the way around the the block on most subjects. I mean, uh, I've talked to him before about uh, uh, you know about, about deer hunting, which I don't know anything about, and you know hunting with a, a, a rifle, then a bow, and then before you know it, um, deer meat, and then by the end of the conversation, he's a vegan. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's Brett. That's Brett, and, and that's what I love about him.